on key on the album. This is the album right here. Turn the album. Good, now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Godan. Seven Labors is here. Rostam. There's a lot to talk about this guy. The community is mixed. Are better Titans coming out? How good is he really? We've been seeing lots of agreements with him. And right now when you look at the leaderboard, this event is big. Almost a million souls on day one. You got a lot of new teams. 300. Awesome job. Astig. New order. The leaderboard has changed. Wonder what's going on. Could it be all the stuff going on in the world? Back to back events. Holiday season. Real life turmoil. The pandemic. Lots of reasons for the slowdown. But the game ain't slowing down at all. No, there's a lot happening. Will the leaderboard stay like this? Over the course of the event? Is this going to make history? It's making something. And something it's doing is making money. Community has been mixed for a few days regarding the changes to the game. We'll see. So far so good. Everything's staying the same. It's also time for the bone dregs. They did carry over. I had seven from last year. Lots of choices. Titans. People ask, what should I pick? If I was going to pick one, I'd pick Krampus. If I was going to pick one. I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to save up a little while longer. And almost to the 15,000 Divine Gems. For our new Divine Titans. Although I could get Necrosa or Life Spark. Just not making the pull. I'm going to wait. Because sooner or later, all this is going to change. Come in, London. Come in, London Control. So there's been a lot going on. A lot of new names in the top 50. Day 2. It's almost over. The leaderboard looks like it's never looked before. I said, a lot of new alliances. A lot of things happening behind the scenes with a lot of teams. A lot of players are coming to their end. But we're still seeing some new growth. A lot of new players coming in. Good time for a lot of players to get big titans. Early in their careers. In DOT. This is a big change. It's interesting to see how this is going to play out. We know it's going to take more than a million again to the top 50. This Titan's worth it. But because of the mixed reviews, we saw a jump in the souls. But it isn't climbing much. We'll have to look at the next day and see how it's going. It's moving. And some of our familiar names just aren't there. Here are you elites in the top 50. But for how long? Now the final day of the final hours. If you've been perusing the out of game chats, you'll see that this Titan is now loved by a lot. There are those who still don't want the Titan. Missed out on the event. It's kind of too late now. Because we're at the end. The leaderboard has changed a lot. This shows a new horizon for DOT. People are interested. The game's not going anywhere. Just new names, new faces. Top 50? Always going to have a top 50. It's always going to take a lot of souls. If this event did not break records. But the pandemic has been pushing on the world for a long time now. It's taken its toll. NTG has finally made it. They jumped on the leaderboard this morning. And now they're trying to hold strong. ERU Elite fell out. Hopefully we'll get back in. Got a few more hours. I'm going to see how it gets done. But it looks like Beta Soul is taking first. And Attical is taking a break. Maybe we can have a new third place team. So as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun. 
Take care.